Hey, what is up, one? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Oh, uh, our last episode, we. Let's see, what did we do? Uh. Defeat the Palace ones? No, that was. No, I think we did. Oh, we did the. The, uh. The, the Tingle quest and got the Magical Boomerang. We, we, yeah, we did quite a bit of side questing. We, we're not quite done. Um, because we got some sword techniques to get. Um, we got a few skin zones with a few of the, few of the guys. Uh, we got Grimblade, Waveblade, and, uh, there's one more. <laughs> uh, Greyblade, that's the other one. Grimblade, Waveblade, and Grimblade. So, those are the ones that we need to fuse skin zones with. We're also missing one technique, which is the, uh, sword beam which we're going to get right now. Uh, it's right over here. Let me just uh, get the lantern, because that is a required item to get this. So you can get this as soon as you beat the fourth dungeon. It is, uh, I believe it's... No, it's not there. It's... I know it's somewhere around here. Let me just kill this guy. I forgot he spawned over here. This is one of the kinstone, uh, like, golden enemies. 200 rupees, let's go. Right here, there it was. And a piece of heart I missed. Good thing I came in here to grab that. You want to use kinstones? I'd love to. Ooh, that was, uh, that was very synced. And this actually uh, unlocks one of the side ones, so. Which I don't think he teaches you a technique. He's just a guy you can talk to, but it's still pretty cool. But there's one of them. They fit perfectly. I feel a strange power within. Oh, also, uh, before I go on, I got a haircut. <laughs> uh, leave it down in the comments below if you actually like this or whatever. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you guys like it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it feels a lot better, at least. Yeah, because, like, when my hair was, like, super long, it was really uncomfortable. But, yeah. You're in the presence of the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Grimblade. If you train with me, you will become a true master swordsman. So, you like to train here? Oh, yes, please. Get this last last one before we get the probably my favorite ability in the game. You will now learn. Well, you will now learn. You will learn the meaning of the power within meaning of power with this technique, the sword beam. First, when your hearts are at full. Second, swing your mighty sword. That's really all there is to it, young swordsman. Do you understand? But this is the only beginning. Now, the, now comes the real thing. One must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will not persist your body and uh, so just to demonstrate the technique. That's the great blade possession technique of training. Watch this possession. Oh yeah. It's basically Pearl Beam at full health. It's pretty good. It's one of the, I, I would say it's one of the best abilities in the game. When your heart's at full, swing your sword with all your might. Yes, fine work. You know the way. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget, forget this technique, and you can review with this scroll. All right, excellent. So we got that one. That is the last of the tiger scrolls. Now we gotta get some side stuff, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Because uh, we got a few skins with wave blade and uh, gray blade. Uh, Greyblade is in Mount Cornell. Waveblade is in uh, Lake Hylia. Basically opposites. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Greyblade's way down here. He's like one of the first ones you meet. Uh, go up. Thanks a lot. Hmm. 
up here. And it should be this one. Uh, let me look at this. Pretty sure it was like... Oh yeah, because I have three. Oh, I don't even need to do that because this is already open. What am I doing? Gosh, I'm off my game today. Oh, I already feast Kenzo with them. Okay. Okay, so we fused Kinsos with that guy already. Did we fuse Kinsos with Waveblade then? Okay, if we fuse Kinsos with Waveblade, then we can start getting these side ones done. Okay. Already explored all that stuff. I have a new Kinsos piece from Tingle. But to tell you the truth, I'd rather be out adventuring like you. With these crazy clothes, he makes us wear her anyway. Let's use kinstones. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can use kinstones with these guys over and over. It's pretty cool. Uh, golden enemy, I think. No, that was a chest. I didn't think that would actually work. Probably should have died right there, but it's fine. Um, bad memories of this area. Remember, we got like a massive lag spike here and it almost crashed my game. That was just before the fourth dungeon. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I would love to. Alright, so we got that one. Yeah, that one's right there. Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, because I, I stayed up until like, what, 11 last night? Ugh. Yeah, because normally, like, I record my videos between 8 and 9 p.m., and uh, basically I just head to bed at like 10, but like, yeah. It's because I, because of uh, an event, so, yeah. <clears throat> Oops, I did not mean to use it twice there. Alright, well, whatever works. Alright, Veil Falls. We need to go here. Uh, I'll grab that chest when I come back up. Do that. Could care less about that. Let's do this. Just taking a shortcut. Uh, get the cane of Pachi. Keep in mind, we haven't even uh, like infused the wind element yet. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just busy with side questing right now. I mostly just want to get all the sword techniques out of the way before we do it. Yeah, this is the one of the side ones. Yeah, it's this guy. He... He looks awesome. The spear and the sword of one. I'm the nearly best swordsman in Hyrule Split Blade. If you train with me, I will... You will discover the secrets of your hidden power. So we like... To, oh, yeah, this is a side thing. Okay. Would I like to train your... Yes, please. Mm. Now I'll show you how to... Fill your split gauge faster than ever. Oh, these are the upgrades, yeah. I take visualization training very seriously, I have you know. Now quietly close your eyes. Visualize your body splitting even faster than ever before. Whoa. Splitting. Now you, you will... Fill your split gauge much faster, my student. This is the truth of the sword. And the truth is almost exact opposite of not truth. Okay, or a fib. 
commit yourself to the blade. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is it. Your split gauge has been sped up. Your sword gauge will fill, fill with power more quickly. That's actually really good. Wait, can you... I don't think... Wait, I, I already tried it. Yeah, yeah. I was just checking if you can view skins on them. I, I don't think you can, but... Oh, goodness. I will try my very best to actually uh, fuse consoles with everyone in the game. But I can't, to be honest, at this point, I can't really guarantee it. There's so many right now. But we'll see. I'll at least get, like, like, uh, like every item, every heart piece, all that stuff. We'll see, now. We will see. This was the other one. There's a there's actually another one in Caster Wilds that we're gonna get. Mastery of the sword is mastery of the soul. I'm I am kinda of the almost best swordsman I rule. Great blade. Training with me will totally change your sword skill forever and stuff. Dude, I don't think you need you can even you're You're even ready to train here. Come back when you've learned the highest technique of the sword. Which is the last technique, which we're going to go grab, so... <laughs> Dude. Uh, alongside the, uh, the other skill, we can get Caster Wilds, which I don't think I got, so... Let's grab that. Uh, it's right near a waterfall. It's one of the waterfalls around here. I think it's, uh... Okay, here we go. Now I just gotta remember where it was. Which isn't that hard, but let's see. Um, uh, I'm glad this area isn't... Well, it's a big area, but it... Like, I've gotten so used to this, so... Okay, that's nothing. And that was a golden kinstone. Wait, let's just open this up. I hate you. Okay. I remember forming kinstones there. I only got like two. Right there. Like, I barely got anything. Despite our episode just before the, the third dungeon, what, what did I get, like, eight kinstones here? Oh, uh, yeah, there's one right there. Speaking of kinstones. Oh, my gosh. Jesus, this guy's like Sonic over here. Okay, there we go. Capped rupees, let's go. You know, it was only a matter of time before we would get the cap rupees. Time this wrong. Dude, can you hit the guy? Thank you. Jeez, I barely made that. Because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's right here. That's where it was. Jeez. Yeah, because I haven't been in this area in ages. Swordsman Spirit is. Swordsmanship is spirit. I was about to say swordsman uh, spirit is ship. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I almost I almost butched that. I'm the finest or maybe second finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. Scar Train with me. Train with, yeah, training with me will forever tr transform your swordsmanship. So would you like to train here? Yes, please. Yes, I will now teach you how to be more quickly and unleash your spin attack, which you've only already learned. I take this villa there. Okay, you know what? It's the spinning. It's basically same dialogue. Mm. Now you can perform this your spin attack much faster, my student. This is the heart of the sword. 
It all begins with belief. Commit yourself to the blade. Cool. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, that's like really fast. Yeah, basically now you can start spamming abilities. And yet again, another... What is with me and missing kinstones? Or heart pieces and stuff. And I uh, messed that up. Hold on. Maybe I didn't mess it up. This puzzle's a little weird. Uh, one second. I messed it up. Give me one minute. There it goes. Jeez. Cannot believe I didn't remember that, but it's fine. We got it. We got it. Okay, now we got to get the final sword technique, which we're going to go grab. It is to the, uh, to the southwest of the map, so it's like right near uh, where we fused those uh, three uh, three golden kinstones with those uh, three statues. Uh, I'm glad I have all, all this opened up. Okay, do this and do this. Totally messing this up. Though my body may perish, I'm still the, still the master, the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Swiftblade the first, spirit of the swordsman. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that are out of this world. So we like to train here. Yes, please. This is a technique that only I have mastered. Only one who holds the sacred blade can perform the great spin attack. First, do a spin attack. Second, press the button repeatedly. Repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Do you hear me? That is all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Oh, yes, I do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. but it's not so easy. Must, one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I'm gonna. Da, 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 da. This is the spooky possession technique of training. And you'll see why this is part of my favorite. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. You're just going to spam it. You, you can get it as, I believe, as long as you want. So, yeah, pretty sure it's unlimited, but let me see. All right, well, there you go. Yes, fine work. So there's the last, uh, yep, the last one. Yeah, it's unlimited. Yeah, or, or at least very... Well, kind of. Kind of unlimited. It's not really. But. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It lasts, uh. Yeah, it lasts a good while. So basically, this just turns Link to a meat grinder. So. That is very helpful. Now we gotta get the last, uh. Last one from Great Blade. And then we'll go, uh. Fuse the element. Or fuse the wind element with our sword. And then, uh... I guess we'll, uh... I have no clue what we're gonna do after that. Uh, probably just get the rest of the heart pieces, I guess. Yeah, we're probably gonna do the rest of the uh, heart piece collecting in the next episode. Yeah, because we're missing a good amount. We're missing, like... Looks like, like... 16, I think. Well, not really. I think it's like... It, I would guess at least like 12, but... I think. I think it's like 12. Okay. And I'm going the wrong way, so... 
Yeah, it's up. Jeez. Going all over the place. So we can literally get it along the way. Which is helpful. Go back here. Oops. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry, but I just love the ability. Yeah, I already uh, read that. Yes, please. Yes, all right. I will teach you how to prolong the duration of the great spin attack, which you have already learned. I take visibly. Yeah. Quietly close your eyes. Whoa. Spinning, 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 spinning. Same dialogue. Hmm. Now your great spin attack will last longer than before, my student. This is the truth of sword. When you doubt another, you bring the you bring clouds in into the mind skies. Commit yourself to the blade and stuff. So now uh we got the duration increased. Yeah, look how long that lasts. Whew, that's gonna be good. That is gonna be really good. Okay. So now, uh, Link is now pretty much a Super Saiyan right now. So let me just quickly get to uh, Hyrule Castle. Probably gonna have to sneak past the guards again. I'm pretty sure we have to. From memory. But we'll see. Yeah, because I don't think it's opened up. I think uh, we still got a sneak pass, which really is not hard whatsoever. But, yeah, we still, yeah, we still need a sneak pass. It's not even that hard. Uh, I have no clue. I guess magical boomerang. Okay, let's get out of that guy's way. Wait for this guy to move. There we go. This isn't really that hard. It's it's like fairly easy. Could do this. Do this. That was good. Turn like this and do that. It's super easy to master that, so. Wait, does that? Yeah, that respawns. Uh, eh, I would, but like, I the Lola milk is so good. We need to keep those. It's basically like having like, like four potions. Sneak past this stuff. I know a lot of people have a hard time actually sneaking past the guards. To be honest, when when I did this for the first time, uh, yeah, I had that same issue. Yeah, I had a hard time sneaking past them. But at this point, I, I, I sneak past them in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I do it so fast. Yeah, because like I said, I completed this like like six times. I've played this game so many times. I just have a hard time remembering all this stuff because it's been a long time since I played this. So. Oh, look at that. This is the last time I played this was on the Game Boy Advance, and that was like a few years ago. The power of the wind element has infused your blade. With the power of the four elements, your blade has become the four sword. Focus power in your blade and release to fire a beam. Use it to break Vati's curse and restore the people of Hyrule. Oh yeah. And that breaks that. And that unlocks that. Mm-hmm. It seems that forging the sacred blade somehow opened the doorway. It must lead to to the room that holds the secret of the light force. 
Dark room, let's go inside. Yes, we must. Uh, I don't think there's... No, there's nothing back there. Hmm. How interesting. Look at the image on that stain... Images on that stained glass. I bet those pictures show us where the light force is hidden. Cutscene time. Hey, look, the start of the game. <laughs> I don't know, my face comes really dark. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by the shadow. Or by shadow. The tiny Bukori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and golden light. With, it, with wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace has been restored, or had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. Princess Zelda, in the force of the golden light, embodied the Hyrule's... In Hyrule's princess shone forth, and I didn't get to read that. <laughs> so that what it, that's what it means. <laughs> As though you really are too kind. First you, you give me my magic cap. And then you got me here. You've been far too generous. But now, I no longer have a use for you. What's up, Vadi? It's been a while. Oh. Kamehameha. <laughs> As l at last, I finally know the location of the Light Force. Dark, wake up! Can you wake up, Dark? Fighting disguised himself as the king to search for the light force. When he learned of this place, he waited for us to forge the blade. If that stained glass is accurate, Princess Zelda holds the light force. Well, we know that because he, she had a, a light shield going around her literally at the beginning of the game, but there you go. Vati will do whatever it takes to steal that power from her. If he succeeds, we may never, never be able to return the princess to normal. We've wasted too much time, Dark. We must stop Vati. Yes, we must. Okay, so that's done. Look at this sweet new sword, by the way. Oh, looks so good. Four sword. Yeah, as you can see, we're like super powerful right now. And we can split into four, which is awesome. And that unlocks even more side questing. Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah, you see something different with this room? And the music? Welcome to Dungeon 6, guys. Also known as the most painful dungeon ever. Uh, this is actually way worse than Palace of Winds, so... Get ready for some rage. What? What is this? What's happened here? They've been turned to stone. All of them. The minister and the guards. The one in the castle. All just like Princess Zelda. This can only be the work of that evil Vati. We're cruelty dark. We must use the power of the sacred four sword to undo this evil. I love the music, by the way. Yeah, they they slowed down the the music and added like a new pitch to it, and that is how you cure them, which is really cool. Oh, oh, thank you. You're the one who returned me to normal, aren't you? I don't know how you did it, but I can't thank you enough. Listen, have you have you seen how strange the king has been lately? That's because it's not the king at all. It's Vati. He's taking over the castle. How the heck do you know that's Vati? But okay. One by one, he turned all of us to stone. Everyone caused by his evil, cursed by his evil magic. Not caused. Then the monsters arrived. Even paralyzed us not at all. I only pray that it's not too late to undo his evil. Okay, Pope though, you're next. There we go. 
What's up? Dark, we need your help. Avanti took our petrified princess to the roof of the castle. He must be playing something fiendish. You must stop him. Let's use kid stones. <laughs> Great timing. Oh my gosh. You know, just when we're going to save the princess, let's go ahead and just casually fuse kinstones. Uh, that's a chest, I believe. Yeah, that's a, I believe that's just a kinstone chest. They fit perfectly. Alright, come here. Wait, actually, can I? No, I was, I was just checking if I could fuse kinstones with that guy. Yeah, I consider this Dungeon 6. It's actually called Dark Hyrule Castle. That's the full name of the area. But I call it uh, Dungeon 6. It pretty much is. It's painful. Uh, let me just say, this is going to take us like two parts. Just like uh, Palace of Winds. It's going to take two parts. It's painful. The real killing king of Hyrule must be locked up, locked up somewhere in the castle. Please find him. As soon as we recover, we'll start looking too. Dark Hyrule Castle. Whoa. Is this really Hyrule Castle? I can't believe it. What's happened here? Uh, the green, uh, the flames are green. So there you go. And it, it's got a nice little, uh, the floor has got a nice shade of purple and stuff like that. I mean, eh, nothing too bad. Fatty's magic has grown more powerful than I imagined. The king and Zelda are in danger. Dark, let's go. But first... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I wish you guys luck trying to get out of this, uh, out of this area. It's hard to get out. <laughs> so. And Black Moblins, new enemy, actually. Well, kind of. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, I'm so glad I got that. We're going to be doing that a lot in Trapdoor. We don't have any keys right now. I guess we'll do a little bit of the dungeon, but I gotta do a Final Fantasy after this, so. Yeah, we'll only do a tiny bit of it. Okay, just be careful here, and just do this. Easy. This is just to trigger a shortcut. I, wow, I messed that one up. There we go. That's just to trigger that shortcut. Uh, okay, be careful here. There's the oh my gosh, there's the blue wisp over there. No bombs. Uh, I'm, win I'm just waiting for this guy to get off of me. <sighs> okay, thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, can we do any? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll just do this. I know a good amount of the layout around here, so this this should be good. Trapped. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Oh no, that wasn't. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Drop down here. Careful, of this guy. I'm gonna get hit. Yep. And this is all minish stuff. Uh, you know, let's go over here. And there's the... This is actually the prison area. There's the king. King Gustav. Or not King Gustav, but the king. Now, king Gustav was the uh, original king. You know, I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> Uh, watch me complete this in one part, by the way. That would be awesome, by the way. If, like, if I complete this in one part, because this dungeon takes forever to complete. But we'll see, we'll see. The, the final boss is tough. So, do that. What's up, King? Huh? Hi. 
I refuse to consult with you anyways. Oh, Dark. You're the one who broke the curse and turned me into normal? You've grown quite brave since the last I've seen you, I must say. But oh, how this castle has suffered while, while I was under Vati's curse. Is all... Is this all the work of one man? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's a dark sorcerer. I mean, what did you expect? As king of Hyrule, I must do something about this villain. But, ah, I'm old. And I would only hold you back. Dark, you have the sacred blade now. We must rely on you. Please, you must find a way to rescue Zelda. Take this key. You can use it to get out of the castle from the basement. You got a small key. Sweet. So now we rescued the king. Okay, careful here. Do this really quick. Now, aren't you glad that I showed you how to get these uh, upgrades? You're gonna need them. You're gonna need these upgrades. Oops. Uh, was robs and then these guys get out of here really did kill that thank you just get away from the uh, was rob there or was robe I keep mispronouncing it it's good of you all right we will do that in the next episode because uh that area is uh it kind of sucks. Uh, you know, I'll end, I'll end the episode actually in the castle. Why not? I'll, I'll go right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was, yeah, that was pretty good. We got all the uh, sword techniques in the game. Yeah, th that's all of them in the game. So if you want to know how to get every sword technique, you've come to the right place. Um, and uh. We fused our uh, the wind element with our sword. We got the four sword now, so we can split into four. Um, we're actually not going to be doing the dungeon yet. Um, we're going to do the rest of the side questing. We're going to make sure we get everything, and then uh, we'll tackle this dungeon. So we're going to have one or two parts that are going to be side quests, and then we'll do this. And I got we got past a good portion of the dungeon, so or well kind of kind of a good portion i'd say we got rid of like a tenth of the dungeon it, it's a long dungeon like i said um it's uh if you're wondering which dungeon's longer uh dark hyrule castle or um palace of winds uh dark hyrule castle's longer it's i think it's only by a tiny bit though but it is yeah it's a it's definitely a longer dungeon which you'd expect from the sixth dungeon i mean this is the last dungeon in the game you'd expect the dungeon be long <laughs> so but i'll see you on the next one which will be uh in about an hour the next episode uh, or next video which is gonna be a final fantasy did a lot of stuff so can't wait to show you guys so see you on the next one goodbye